Clip tilde object should be in every single patcher. Not only it can be used as a safety device, it's also for sound designing. So what does it do exactly? This object will retain the input sound's gain within the selected range, and the extra signal beyond that range will simply get cut or clipped off. And that extra signal will not come out of our speakers. So let's see what clipping looks and sounds like. Here we have a sine tone with minimum and maximum output gain of negative 1.0 and positive 1.0. And this is what the waveform looks like. So let's run it through the clip object with the setting of negative 0.5 and positive 0.5. As we can see, the waveform cuts off anything above positive 0.5 and below negative 0.5. What's cool about this object is that no matter how much we increase the gain of the oscillator, the output volume will not go beyond certain loudness level because the signal is retained within 0.5. So we can use this to our advantage. If we didn't use the clip object, as we increase the gain, we can easily reach a volume that's dangerously loud. To safely demonstrate this, I have the audio coming out from my laptop speakers with the volume setting of 1. And we can easily go from this much decibel to this high of a decibel. But with the power of a clip object, we can retain the volume to a safer level. Okay, let's do something wild. We're scaling up by 1000, which is absurdly high. But because we have the clip object right here, even when I turn DSP on, I'm still alive. And my laptop speakers are not on fire either. So a clip object is necessary in every patcher for safety. Even if we accidentally create a loud noise, clip object will retain the volume at a safer level. Of course, I still highly recommend that you patch mostly with your laptop speakers at low volume. And you can use headphones or bigger speakers when you're 110% sure that it's safe to do so. Alright, so you may have noticed the change in sound quality of the oscillator when we clipped it. In short, clipping an audio will produce harmonics in the high frequency range. Therefore, clip object can add intentional distortion effect. We can control the amount of distortion by adjusting the gain. Notice how the waveform becomes more square as we increase the gain? This indicates that more harmonics are present. And we of course hear the tone becoming brighter as we increase the gain. Let's add distortion to a drum sample. So, clip object will make patching safer and it can also spice up your sound design. Have fun!